How's it going, everyone? Happy Friday and welcome back to the channel. So the Green Bay Packers Friday injury report finally just came out. Now, they still have an injury report tomorrow with the game status because this game is a Monday night football game. So it's kind of delayed one day, whereas we'd usually see the designations on Friday. We'll see them tomorrow. But nonetheless, there was another injury report today, including a couple players that started to practice that didn't practice yesterday. So let's go over this injury report, break it down. Let's get into it. We're brought to you today by Manscaped, who has taken a step up from Balloween to give your face the cleanest shave it's ever seen. So this season, there's no reason to toil and trouble. Manscaped's new handyman gets rid of that stubble. Featuring a compact design and next-gen skin-safe technology, the handyman was designed to give you that smooth finish without the mess of a traditional shave. Get the sweetest treat this Halloween by heading to manscaped.com and using my custom code BASS20 for 20% off your entire high order plus free shipping. And if you're going for a bearded look like myself, look no further than the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit. This trimmer has a rotary wheel, which gives you 20 hair cutting lengths with one guard. So no more drawers full of extra add-ons collecting cobwebs. Your Halloween costume may take effort, but beard grooming doesn't need to when you get 20 different cutting lengths all in one guard. So go get 20% off plus free shipping with code BASS20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off your entire order plus free shipping with BASS20 at Manscaped. For a look as sweet as candy, get yourself the handyman from Manscaped. All right, so let's waste no more time and bring up the injury report. And man, the Packers injury report is still a very, very long one. We see at the top, Jair Alexander was limited yesterday, limited today. Now, yesterday's press conference, Jair was asked about the matchup with Devontae Adams, who was also on the injury report. And Jair basically made it seem like he is not going to be missing this game. Now, Devontae Adams doesn't play in this game, which he hasn't practiced yet, which we'll go over here in a bit later when we look at the Raiders injury report. Maybe Jair sits out, but nonetheless, it seems like Jair is getting closer and closer to returning. And if Devonta Adams plays in this game, which I 100% expect him to, I think Jair is 100% also going to play. Next on the list is Zane Anderson, who's had his hamstring for like three weeks now. He's a did not participate. Devondre Campbell did not participate today. That almost confirms that Devondre Campbell's not going to be playing in this Monday night game against the Raiders, and they'll likely hold him out through the bye week, and we'll see if he returns versus the Denver Broncos in Denver after that bye week. Rudy Ford, the next one on this list, he didn't practice yesterday with his oblique injury, but was upgraded to limited today, a limited practice for Rudy Ford. I was actually talking about both him and Runyon in my game preview live stream saying, hopefully they get limited today. If they get limited today, there's a good chance that they'll be playing this Monday, which that's really good to see from Rudy Ford limited today. Uh, I thought he's had a great past two games, so the Packers defense definitely needs him. Elton Jenkins, a Another limited participation today. He looks on track to return after that MCL sprain against the Raiders on Monday. Aaron Jones, a limited with the hamstring. I saw a couple videos in practice, and Aaron Jones, it looks like that hamstring is not a problem at all anymore. I expect full force Aaron Jones against this Raiders defense, and I expect the Packers to give him the ball early and often. Luke Musgrave, a full participation yesterday and today. He was cleared from concussion protocol. He'll be good to go on Monday. The Packers definitely need him for their offense. John John Runyon with his groin slash ankle injury didn't practice yesterday and practice today. So it was a pretty severe ankle sprain. It was noted as where John Runyon sprained his ankle in the last game against the Lions, but ended up finishing the game just showing his true toughness that even after the game, he had his ankle or his foot in a walking boot. It was that bad, but he pretty much said, it'll be okay. I'll be fine. And we see him limited today. So I see him toughing this one out and playing um, in this game Monday. Um, he hasn't been too great this year, but you can't be too hard on last game considering he was playing most of it with a pretty severe ankle sprain. Then we see Eric Stokes limited yesterday, limited again today with his foot injury. We'll see if they activate him on the PUP. My best guesses he doesn't play in this game they wait until after the bye Zach Tom limited participation yesterday and today he was questionable last week played in the game maybe hold a designation this week but my best guess is he's obviously going to play in this game and the Packers definitely need him with this banged up offensive lineman he's been one of the lone consistent bright spots on this offensive line Carrington Valentine was a full participant yesterday and today he'll be obviously good to go in this game if the Packers need him then finally Christian 
Christian Watson was limited yesterday, limited today with the hamstring. Just like Aaron Jones, I think they're going to open up Christian Watson and use him on a full snap count, whereas we saw both of them kind of on a, a pitch count last game. I don't think that's going to be the case against the Raiders, and hopefully we finally see this full potential offense all together, minus a couple pieces on the O-line. Then to wrap things up and go over the Raiders injury report, Devontae Adams did not participate yesterday and today with that shoulder injury. As I stated, he hasn't practiced yet this week. Still don't see that affecting his game status on Monday. He'll probably get a limited practice tomorrow. Even if he doesn't practice tomorrow, I still see Devonta Adams playing in this game. It's against his former team. It's going to be against Jair Alexander. It's just a great matchup, and as long as he has a chance to go, he's definitely going to go. Jacorian Bennett, limited yesterday, limited today. You want him to play in this game. He's been pretty awful at cornerback for the Raiders. Max Crosby, limited yesterday and today. No chance Max Crosby misses this game. Packers are going to have to have a plan for him. Jimmy Garoppolo, full participant today with a concussion. He has cleared concussion protocol and will start against the Green Bay Packers this Monday. Nate Hobbs, ankle injury, did not participate yesterday and today. Malcolm Kuntz, limited yesterday and today with the groin injury. And David Long, cornerback, ankle injury, limited yesterday and today. So that does it for the Friday Injury Report Packers versus Raiders. And I also wanted to remind you guys that I am still giving away this signed Christian Watson Packers photo. This is such an awesome photo, him diving into the end zone against the Bears. Such an awesome picture, and the fact that it's signed just makes it 10 times better. To enter in this giveaway, head to pristineauction.com. Register on their website using registration code BAS. That'll enter you in this giveaway and all future giveaways. And if you've already registered on Pristine with my registration code, then you're automatically entered in this giveaway. This giveaway will end mid-October, so make sure to go sign up. But that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. But I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, go Pack Go.